phone stopped and falling over and it just fell over on me. So tonight, reviewing from Lime Bay Winery. They make a lot of uh, fruit wines and that. Really interesting wines, to be fair. Um, I got this from um, a garden centre in Nottingham. And it's Christmas mead with festival spices. So I paid 11 quid. But on the website itself, you can get it for £9.75. Lime Bay Winery is a small, dedicated West Country, i.e. Birmingham Way and all that, um, pa company passionate about producing delicious, award-winning drinks. Sweet and Moorish with rich drops of honey flavour. A great accompaniment to strong cheeses and full-flavoured casseroles. Serve at room temperature. Sadly, I'm in the shed and it's freezing at the moment. As you know, uh, if you're in the UK at the moment, it is cold. So, hey -o, you know, you can't win them all. So, I just wanted to get the review of it because I've already had a bit, obviously. And uh, jolly nice it is too. And there's the issue. That, um... <laughs> normally struggle like this but there we go now you can see the bottle just christmas mead so yeah, yeah. oh the temperature just watch the bbc news and i tell you what this last year they've wound me up no end it's as if they're it's as if that the media are stirring bringing colour into everything, even this coronavirus now, saying that, um, you know, it's the Middle Eastern and black community are suffering the most. Oh, is it now? Well, I read an article yesterday. 90% of the people who have died are over 65. Most of them are white. And 65 and over. Not youngsters. So, you know, and then they're on about all oh, social media is to blame for, for a lot of the uh, fake news. You just fake news yourself. And uh, so bloody infuriating. <sighs> anyway, let's get back onto the wine. I really hate TV at the moment. I absolutely despise because if it's as if everything they post is just a what. If you go overboard in any society going, in any sexual orientation, gender, whatever. You bend over backwards too much towards any single one, it upsets the apple cart for all the rest. And at the moment, since last March, it's been one thing after another, after another. And unfortunately, you know, they don't seem to be stopping. And, um, I mean, for me, you need people to be out there Saying, why is anybody carrying knives? People being stabbed. I mean, the bloke who got killed in America, yes, it shouldn't have happened. He was an armed robber, mind you. And the three people who were slaughtered in Reading by a terrorist, where was the, where was all the protest for them? There wasn't any, was there? Mm -hmm. All these uh, people that do, are doing the knee, where was the knee for them? Three people killed. For no reason whatsoever. Um, to me, there's 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 a lot wrong in this in this. There's a lot of people demonstrating for stuff, and yet a lot of these people. I come from a poor background. My background, I, I I had a life which was very very tough. Poor background, domestic violence in front of me. Um, seen way too much as a child. Um, suffered abuse at school by people of white, black, Asian. Suffered bullying at school. Suffered at the workplace, unfortunately, as well. But, um, you know, there's a lot more out there. And for any one particular thing to say, oh, we're, we, we've had it all our lives. A lot of the young generation that are around now have had a much better life than their 100 years ago people. A lot of bad attitudes about as well. A lot of young people think the world's open. No. Go out and earn your money. You know, two, two of the best actors in the world, 
Morgan Freeman, Denzel Washington. You listen to what they say about matters. And I tell you what, what they say, you know, you've, I have respect so much for them. You know, you met your own culture, you met your own destiny and all that. Don't depend on others to make it for you. I don't sit at home waiting for the doll man to pay me. I go out and work. There's a lot of people who think, oh, no, 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 no. We just get our money off the doll. I've got neighbours across the road who are the same. Wind you up. <laughs> anyway, thought they vented. Get on with the review. Bloody hell. Come here for the review, not you going on and whittling. But yeah, you, you can see why the world annoys you. Anyway. So yeah, definitely get the strong honey, the hint of festive spices. Room temperature, this would be exquisite. It is nice at this temperature, that's what they're. Sweet. So if you like your wine sweet, you'll definitely like this. Um, only the second time I've ever tried mead. I've had mead from Asda before. And yeah, it wasn't too bad. Four quid a bottle, I think. Yeah. Nice drop of... Um, Nice drop of wine, shall we say. After a cold day at work, this is this isn't helping actually because it's not warm. I need warm. I mean, like a hot toddy or something. Not, never, never mind a cold glass of wine in the beer room. But there you go. I do apologise to Lion Bay Brewery. I'm supposed to be reviewing your wine, not not ranting. But. People who watch these reviews know what I'm like. I, I, you know, I do go off on the odd tangent here and there. When you watch the news and some of the rubbish that people come out with. Oh. It's like a woman last night on Facebook going about, uh, about oh, what, why are elite football teams allowed to play? And uh, and you're not allowed to do this and that. So you go to supermarkets, don't you? Got more chance of getting COVID from the supermarket than you have than you have watching football on your TV, <laughs> and all them people have tested before they play. If they, if, they, if they fail the test, that's it. Game's over. Social media. I've had to put so many people on my snooze list. It is unbelievable. So friends, they're friends, but you watch them sharing so much rubbish, and it's like snooze, snooze. Snooze, snooze, and uh, it's getting a lot quieter now. I'm not seeing so much on Facebook these days. At least it's not winding me up. Mm. So easy drinking, as you can tell because I necked it. Um, easy drinking, warming, um, nice sweetness to it, good honey with them festive spices. Makes for a very nice Christmas drink. Sadly, I reviewed it after Christmas. I meant to review it at Christmas, but it has been mad. One review after another, after another, after another. And, it, 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 you know, it gets a bit tough at times doing all these reviews. Uh, you don't think drinking beer would be tough, would you? But sometimes it does. At five, for me, 4.3 out of five. I really liked it. Yeah. I have tried their ginger wine before. Sure, it was their ginger wine. Got it from Flying Horse Walk in Nottingham. Uh, I think it's from like a delicatessen shop. Paid about eight quid for it. A few years ago now, mind you. I think before I did reviews. Um, and I must get it again just to see, you know, see what it's like. Because I do like my ginger beers. Ginger wines, rather. So, yeah, that's it for this review. Thank you uh, for watching and uh, see you soon. We're in about five minutes. Uh, well, you're not going to see me in five minutes because I'm going to put a live review on. But you're not me. See you soon.